channel so welcome back to another weekly video it is jd here and i'm so excited to see you guys all right we are going to ask the question again guys all right and our question is who can trust god and the answer to that question is do you know it i can trust in god awesome job guys all right so for today we are going to do five movements but with the five movements we're going to do it one movement one time we're going to do the second movement two times then we're going to do the third movement three times the fourth movement four times and the fifth movement five times okay so that means you have to stand up and do it with me okay so for the first one first move we're gonna do it one time and we're gonna do one frog jump you ready here you go one two three jump awesome that's one frog jump okay next we're gonna do two twists we're gonna go twist to the left and twist to the right to be two twists ready ready and twist one and twist two good job guys all right so the next one we are gonna do is we're gonna do three kicks okay so we're gonna kick ready one and two and three good job all right ready for the fourth one the fourth movement is we are going to make circles with our arms four times okay we're gonna make big circles like this then we're gonna switch to the other side we're gonna do that four times are you ready here you go one two three four awesome job guys okay so for our last one, we're gonna do five star jumps. Let me show you what a star jump looks like. Ready? And boom. Okay? So we'll do that five times. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job, guys. Thank you so much for doing these moves with me. All right, I will see you guys next week. Bye. A one, two, one, two, three, four. Yes, I have a friend who makes me feel like I belong. He's the reason for my smile, the reason for this song. Sing along with all you got. Here we go. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me. Sing it again. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me. Oh, my God. 
Hi friends, I'm Lucy, and my mom found something so amazing when she was going through boxes in the attic. Are you ready to see what it is? Scarfs! I brought them here so I can dance with them. Music player, Melody. Hello. Can you please play some fun music for dancing with scarfs? Playing fun music. Here I go. I love dancing with scarves, and I want you to try with me. Pretend like you have a scarf in your hand. Wave the scarf high, wave it low, and swoop it around in a big circle. Now put your hands back in your lap. Great job, friends. I love dancing with all these bright colors. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Having fun with scarves, are you? I sure am, Ollie. I just love dancing with all these bright colors. Red and yellow and orange. Who? Who? Those colors remind me of a story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Yes! I got it working! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hola, friends! I'm Luis, the handyman. I was just fixing my indoor marshmallow roaster. Mm. Oh, <laughs> you know, sometimes I even roast marshmallows on a big fire outside. Have you ever done that? Oh, <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> Speaking of fire, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready. Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Elijah. Elijah was a friend of God's. He knew God could do anything, and Elijah trusted God. But the king of the land, King Ahab, did not. King Ahab believed in a pretend God called Baal and had a big statue of him. The king had a lot of people who told him over and over that Baal had superpowers, that the statue could do anything. And the king was like, wow, that's great. But Elijah was like, no, that's not great. There is only one true God, and everyone needs to know. So Elijah said to the king, let's do a test. We'll each set up an altar, and then we'll pray. The God who starts a fire on the altar is the real God, the one true God. Everyone agreed, and Elijah let King Ahab go first. So King Ahab and his big group of people prayed to Baal, and they shouted. But did Baal send fire? Nope. So Elijah said, hmm, maybe it's sleeping. Maybe you should shout louder. So King Ahab and the prophets tried again. They shouted louder and louder. But did Baal answer with fire? Let's check. Nope. Then it was Elijah's turn. He trusted God and believed God can do anything. So Elijah went to the altar. He had people 
pour water on it so it would be really hard to light on fire. And then he prayed, God, we believe you are the one true God, that you can do anything. Show us your power, God. He did it. God lit the altar on fire and everyone knew that God is the one true God. Wow, God is so powerful. God can do anything. When we remember that God can do anything, it helps us to trust God. I can trust God and you can trust God. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. <laughs> so there's your story. And it's all true. God showed he's the one true God. That means we can trust him. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God can do anything. He sent fire and showed that he is the one true God and we can trust him. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! All these colors look like the fire in our story. Now whenever I dance with them, I can remember that God can do anything. Hey Melody, play some more dancing music, please. Playing dance music. God, I am not afraid. Psalm 5611. I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 5611.